Hey guys, it's Fosk and I'm here with Tails and we're here to talk to you today about an alternative to Nice Ash. So Nice Ash was hacked. Okay, yeah, sure it was. Here's uh, my video where I talk about that and some other things, but today we're here to talk about an alternative. I'm getting a lot of questions on an alternative to that. One of the main alternatives is simply just to download a miner and mine whatever coin you'd like to do. One of the biggest coins to mine with NVIDIA cards is Zcash. You can download the EWBF miner or DSTM miner. There's a lot of options. If you check out the channel and search those terms, you'll find a lot of stuff that I put up in regards to those. But today, we're here to talk about an exact replacement marketplace to NiceHash. So NiceHash allowed people to buy hash power from people renting out their rigs and for those people to rent out their rigs and get paid for it. Makes sense, right? It's a marketplace. And now we have mining rig rentals. And this isn't something that was just spawned in the gap that NiceHash left. This has been around. This is a proven company. They're legitimate. They will pay you out. They're responsive if you put in a support ticket. They're not just some kind of shifty, you know, shady scam company out there waiting to steal your epic Bitcoin. Also, for you guys wondering, Tails is grumping today. I don't know why. She uh, stubbed her toe earlier and she's kind of been pouting the whole day. She didn't stub it. It got caught in the carpet a little bit and she yiped. I don't know. She's been a little weird since then. You can see, hey, a little pouty. I don't know what it is, guys, but she also made up this sign. Apparently, she's taking over next year. I don't know. World domination? We'll see. So, ultimately, Mining Rig Rentals is a really cool solution for people looking to, you know, rent out their rigs or to buy hash power. What do I see for the usage of this company, this site? Well, I can mine Equihash, which is like Zcash and Zencash, for example, and get paid out in Bitcoin directly. No exchanging, no nothing. So I definitely see the utility here. I ran the numbers and I've been renting my rig out for a couple days now and, you know, rent it out at the, you know, marketplace price. On average, I can make a couple extra bucks if it's running out the whole time. So it can make sense from a strictly, you know, financial point of view there. As far as renting out rigs and buying hash power, it's not something that extremely appeals to me. It's, I mean, why wouldn't I just build rigs or, you know, buy the rigs I need as far as like an ASIC miner or building like an Equihash mining rig or, you know, AKA GPU, whatever. So it's not the biggest appeal factor to me, but I'm gonna explore that too. So, you know, I'm gonna put out a couple videos here um, you know, coming up soon on that actual aspect. But today it's all about renting out your rig. So now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a screen capture video. I'm just gonna walk you through how I set my rig up to be rented out on mining rig rentals and how it always is constantly mining. It's not sitting there idle on mining rig rentals. When it's not being rented, it goes to whatever pool I normally mine with. And someone comes on there like, hey, I'd like to rent that rig, click, click, click and it's done, and then that rig is rented. And just to make one more point, your rig can be rented out for Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum, and you can buy hashing power with those same coins. So kind of like the big three. All right guys, so now we're gonna head over to miningrigrentals.com. And on that note, I'm gonna have a link with my referral code in the description if you wanna use it and support the channel. If not, no big deal. You can see right here, this is my public profile for Mining Rig Rentals. I've been messing around on it for a couple days. I've got my rig rented out seven times, and I currently have a rental that I purchased that's hashing away. So I'm going to click over here to My Rigs and go over how to set up your rig to mine to Mining Rig Rentals. So let's go to Tutorial Rig, and my hash rate will be 4,000, and the Equihash will be the algorithm that we're going to be on and the server will be wherever your location is. I'm on US East. And I use automatic pricing. Basically that just means that they'll keep my rig around the going rate for the most recent rental. So if it's booming, my rate will go up. If it's not doing too hot, they will lower my rate to get me rented. Once doing that, it's gonna give us this rig. And I'll come in here on this rig I've already created, Foscoin YouTube, and I'll go over a little bit of just kind of what's going on here. So you scroll down, you can see my historical hash rate. So this is going to be all time. So this is my hash rate, you know, hashing pretty steady where I wanted to be. And then I lowered my rate a little bit and I started getting rented out. I got rented out for, I think, 24 hours here. And then I got rented out again. So you can see there are people renting the rig, which is pretty cool. Right now, this guy, Azizo, is uh, renting the rig and you'll see that he rented it at this price. What does that equate to? 
So we'll grab that number and we'll come over here, just basic Google search. That gives us 889. And this is per kilohash, so a thousand. And our rig does 4,000. So you can times this number by four. So we're basically getting nine bucks times four per day with it fully rented out, which is gonna equal $36 calculator. You know it's real. So now we're gonna click over here to what to mine to just get a basic calculation of what this rig can do. We scroll down here to some of the Equihash coins. The other algorithms are a little bit off, but we're gonna go with the Equihash coins because that's what we're on. Let's take the baseline of Zcash and you'll see that we should be making 32.56. So all things equal, we'd make a couple extra bucks if we uh, rented a rig out on mining rig rentals at this price. On that same note, let's come over here and go to the Equihash rigs and see what they're actively uh, going for right now. You'll see that since I've rented this, you know, for whatever reason, the prices have gone up. There's 90 rigs rented and there's about 90 available. And the lowest price right now is a good bit higher than what I rented out at. So let's go over here and see what exactly that number is. So that's a 982. So we'd be getting almost 40 bucks a day for renting our rig out, which is a nice bump over, you know, what to mine pegs us at. So by running all the numbers, it makes sense to rent your rig out, especially if you want Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Ethereum. If you mine Zcash just to trade it into Bitcoin, why wouldn't you just rent your rig out for Bitcoin, you know, if that's what you want to do? So we'll click back over to my rig, and I'm going to go through syncing your rig up with uh, mining rig rentals. So if you come down to your pool settings, this is very important. These settings right here, let's pull this up. These are, you need to have these input because your rig's going to mine no matter if it's rented or not. So we take this, this will connect me to Zhash Pro. That's my Zen Cash wallet address and that's my worker name on that actual uh, pool. So I know this is my mining rig rental rig. And with these input here, this will properly connect to Zhash. Same here with Supernova. These settings will connect me to mine Zencash on Supernova with this rig as my backup pool. And I can always click up or down to move these in priority. Just simply clicking that arrow, it's going to move it around. These are the most important pieces to get set up so you don't have any downtime on your rig no matter what. So how exactly do we get this set up? Well, we're going to click over here to rig communication. And this is very important right here. This is your rig ID. So let's come over here to simple mining. This is the rig I have here. I'm going to come into my settings. I need my pool settings. So I need to come over here to rig groups. I'm going to come over here to rig groups and I'm going to go down to MMR or RMRR. I don't need to click on the name. I need to bring up these settings. I was having trouble getting this to work with DSTM, so I'm using EWBF. These are the settings you need to have input into your miner. This will basically translate over to any kind of Windows mining setup using EWF. You would just need this in your bat file. Simple as that. But the most important piece is having your rig ID right there. That needs to be there. So I have that set up and I assigned that you know group to this mining rig. And you'll see that it's connected and it's just hashing away. So you can make this name whatever you want. This is the name that's going to show up when you're browsing through the Equihash rigs that are currently able to be rented. If you wanted to, say, combine two miners and make some kind of super rig, you can do that. Simply just add, you know, two or three or four or whatever for your number of devices connected. You can change your primary server there. And this is the important part, the Voscoin dot five six nine eight zero. That's my rig ID. That's my account name, which you can see up here in the top right. Down here, you can specify the minimum amount of time you could have your rig rented and the maximum amount of time. So again, you know, play around the market, see what uh, you know works best for you. But on that same note, I'm going to bump this up to five. What this does is changes my pricing because, you know, we just looked at the market, it's gone up, so I want to be up with that and not just, you know, losing potential profits. Again, I could use automatic pricing, but, you know, I want to be proactive with this, mess around with it, and see if I can uh, maximize, you know, my earning potential. Again, you click over here to Litecoin, Ethereum, and you can set this stuff up to, you know, break down a price per Ethereum, 
Litecoin price per kilo ash. So, you know, these are not going to be Bitcoin figures. You're going to need to factor out, you know, what kind of price you're willing to rent these out in comparison to trading against Litecoin or trading against Ethereum. So the important part is once you set up this rig group and you connect your rig to whatever your rig ID is, again, you know, mine was 56980, you will see your rig, well, it'll come online, but it's not hashing because it takes your baseline of hashing against the pool you're mining to when your rig is not rented. So you need to have it mining. Once that is set up, you'll see everything will pretty much light up green. You need to lock down your price and everything else, and you'll be good to go as far as hashing away. Setting it up is, honestly, it's pretty simple. Other than that, guys, there's really not much else to it as far as being a, you know, renter. You can see I've got this pending balance from, let's see, any transactions for rentals in the last 12 hours. So you basically have a figure a day of wait time this is my balance which is you know what i've made on here and if we go to transaction history you can see that i rented out a rig here so i spent like almost 30 bucks on that rental we'll see if i make my money with that so stay tuned for that video all in all you can see i've made over 60 bucks or so on this site in the last couple of days in addition to just mining statically on my own pool that i choose when it's not being rented out which is cool to see other than that, guys, there's really not much else to it. You can see that pretty much any algo is going to be supported on here. You can rent your rig out. I was looking at the Lyra rigs, and we've got 33 rented and then 36 not rented. So that might be a good place to uh, put up some rigs, a little less competition as opposed to Equihash. And let's come over here to let's look at script. Script. 763 rented and almost 600 available so you can see that market's doing you know solid again on sha 256 we got five, 406 rented and about 240 available in the good old ethereum we have 69 rented 115 available again guys a lot of options on here so check out whatever you're into and see if it's going to make sense for you ultimately as far as renting your rig out i absolutely see the value in doing this with mining rig rentals you know as a miner i think there is a lot of potential there and it's something i'm going to continue to mess around with and see you know what kind of direction i want to take my rigs and farm but if you're looking for btc in a day like today when btc is booming let's check this out boom 19k and we might wake up and see 20 tomorrow which is just insane but what a time to have Bitcoin and, you know, maybe you want to get a little bit more. Maybe that makes sense there. If you're wondering about a couple of these numbers are off, moving some rigs around, have a couple cards off. So don't think that my uh, rig right there is just imploding. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Stay updated on all my cool crypto content, especially how I'm going to have a couple more mining rig rental videos coming out and how I truly believe it to be the... Uh, better version of nice hash so i don't think they're going to get hacked and disappear anytime soon but again you never know mileage may vary see you next time